landed on the night uh, of D-Day, so it was very dark, and I can only remember landing on the beach, and then we moved on through the lanes and uh, eventually stopped because we thought we might have gone too far beyond what was then would have been called the front line. My name is Roy Hayward, I'm aged 94, and I lost both my legs below the knee soon after landing in, on D-Day. I was called into the tanks within a few days because casualties had been pretty heavy. And uh, it was on the 25th of June that uh, we were asked to uh, attack uh, near a, a, a village called Rore. A shell hit us and uh, exploded inside the tank. When I crawled down the lane and turned over onto my back, I realised that my right leg was shattered below the knee and that my left foot had been blown off, leaving me with just a part of the heel, which I think enabled me to stand enough to get out of the tank. I was so numb at the time that I wasn't aware of pain. I was just feeling extremely upset about the fact that I saw what had happened to me. When I came back to the UK, uh, I went to a hospital in Portsmouth. A nurse arrived to say that she was going to dress my wounds and she took the dressings off and to her delight and my horror, I found that both my stumps were absolutely crawling with maggots. She said that they had kept the wounds absolutely clean and that I, I was in a very good state as far as they were concerned. I was uh, transferred to Chapel Allerton Hospital and there measured for my limbs and for the size of feet I wanted. I was taken to a shoe shop and when I was in the shoe shop they said, oh, well, what size feet do you want? I don't know why, I think there was a, a pair of shoes that I fancied, so I had them and they turned out to be eight and a half. Yes, which is not the best of sizes, really, to have. But... I was contacted by Blesma, who asked if they could do anything for me. And from then on, that was my, you know, sort of reassurance that I had somebody to uh, look to whenever necessary. Uh, it, it's a feeling of reassurance that there is somebody behind me who not only would be protecting my interests as far as pension and allowances was concerned, but also a feeling of cam camaraderie, really. All of us were in the same situation and we formed a very, very good group socially and every other way. Whenever grants were needed, Blesma there were there to help us. Um, I now still receive a gardening grant, which enables me to keep my garden at least in a suitable state. I can manage my home and do the shopping and the banking whenever I need to. So I can't really um, see myself having any change of life, I hope, for some time to come. And of course, Blesma now are concentrating on keeping people in their houses and that's what I would want to do more than anything else. I would really want to stay where I am and if it's necessary, I would approach Plesma to see what, if they could help me to do that. Well, I think probably a sense of humour has been <laughs> good for me. I have had some amusing experiences. and I did have a foot drop off at Waterloo Station. <laughs> with a lady behind, a very elderly lady behind me, who I turned round and there was this lady looking at my my shoe and my sock and my foot lying on the on the platform there. <laughs> very unhappy she was actually. Thought she was going to faint at the moment. <laughs>